Hello guys, welcome to another Team Clock Let's Play. I'm Graham and this is Hotline Miami 2, wrong number. This is part two of our Let's Play series. And in the first Let's Play, we just dipped our toes into the first half an hour to see what it was like. I'm a massive, massive fan of Hotline Miami. So first observations of the game, the levels are huge, which makes it certainly more challenging. The soundtrack is just as good as always. The story's a little bit all over the place, so I'm not really sure what to make of that. I don't know if they're going to elaborate on it, but it's flitting between a couple of different uh, years so far. And I'm not really sure what's going on there. Now, with my Let's Plays, everything is first streamed over on Twitch, which I do directly via the PlayStation 4. And what I found watching back part one was that it was all right. You could hear the commentary okay in the bits between levels, but once we got into the levels because of the soundtrack, it was drowning out the commentary track completely. Now, that's not really a bad thing in this game because the soundtrack in Hotline Miami is so fantastic. That being said, what I've decided I'm going to do is I'll chip in with commentary in between the levels, but once we get into the level, that's just going to be something that I'm just going to leave and then I'll pop back at the end of the level to say how I think it's gone and let you know what I think of the level. So this is where we're up to now, which is Final Cut. Uh, do we want to skip the intro? No, we don't. I don't know if it'll... Well, it'll take us. Right. It has taken us to this bit. I'm just going to skip through this because this was covered at the back end of part one. So if you do want to find out a bit more about what's going on at this bit here, just go and watch the last couple of minutes of part one and you'll find out. But for now, I'm just going to skip through this bit here. This is where I left off. So I'm not sure what this woman's doing here now as i said at the end of the previous one i'm not sure if this is meant to be the apartment of the guy who you played in the first one because this pretty much looks exactly the same as that apartment but i'm not sure i'm wondering if it's going to elaborate and let me know further on into the game hopefully it will right yeah this is where we left off we've got our police here but that must be meant to open the phone line first so So I've got to get taken in. Okay. So I'm imagining we're going to be in the police station now. Yeah. What's going on here? Killing kids? Well, there was no scenes in the first game where you killed kids. So I don't know what's going on there. Again, as I say, the game has flitted between years a couple of times, so I don't know if this is going to be something that it'll pick up later in the game. Right. Okay, here we go. So, as I say, I'll be back at the end of the level.
Okay, I have no idea what the hell went on there. Is, is that the geezer who you're playing as that was a bit insane because he was able to hear something that no one else could hear but then was it meant to be part of the the, the plot of them filming a, a movie I don't know uh, let's see what score I got this time see you know what it is C's quite disappointing because I went through that level pretty much the same way that I would go through the level on the previous game and would have got an A plus on there but never mind so we're on to act two Let's see how this one pans out. I'm hoping it's going to make the story a little bit more, um, a bit more clear. I'm not really sure what's going on here. following this is this meant to be the guy who you played as in the first one is this meant to be somebody from one of the levels I've already played So again, it looks like we're playing as a different character. We haven't played as this guy thus far. Uh, where am I meant to be going? Am I meant to be heading back in here? No. All right. Okay, so scene five, first trial. Here we go. So it looks like we're getting straight into it because my points indicators come up at the top. So as before, I'll be back after the level and we'll discuss how that went.
Right, so that was a pretty short level if I'm honest with you. Um, it became quite apparent with this guy that I wasn't going to be able to use the melee attacks so much, the fist melee attacks I should say, that I normally do because it was just far too slow. Let's see how I do in terms of points there. I mean I didn't take out all of the enemies in the level so I'm assuming it's probably not going to be anywhere near an A plus here. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, we're miles off here. D plus, that's horrendous. What I have been surprised at so far, I've got to be honest, is how difficult it seems to be to get an A plus. I didn't think it would be as tough as this. soundtrack I've got to say at this point each of the levels and I don't know if you noticed but at the beginning there when I first started and went into continue game it tells you who which artist has done the music for the particular level which is awesome because it took me ages to find out who had done some of the music in the first hotline I made game so this will open up these new people much more easily for people so I really hope people do play the game and then check out some of the music from these guys I mean the one in particular that I mentioned briefly in part one was uh, an artist called Perturbator. He did the nightclub level in the first hotline. I mean, he's already done a level in this one, and his music's just absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm really, really loving it. And thus far, everything about the soundtrack, which was one of the things people loved, is, due, is on par with the first game. I mean, I'm not all the way through, so I wouldn't say it's better at this point, but it's definitely equal to the... Now I'm still not overly following the story here, I've got to be honest with you. Right, okay, so on we go to a new level. Let's just have a quick dodge about. Is there anything to collect? No, there's not. So let's crack on. There seems to be, well, here we go, 16, we're on a moving up. There seems to be much less of a focus thus far on, the, on, on this aspect of it. So let's have a look. So we can roll under bullets, killing punches, no weapons. Let's go for it. I'll be back at the end of the level as normal.
Right. So that's that level done. I didn't find that level as tough as I would, bearing in mind I knew that I couldn't use weapons. So the first couple of levels I thought were incredibly difficult because they were kind of big, open areas. The last couple of levels have been a lot more compact, a lot more like they were in the first Hotline Miami game. So they've been a little bit more manageable, which is probably why you'll see it hasn't taken me as much effort to get through them. Uh, right, okay, so we're leaving her, it seems. Let's crack on through. Now that one, I've got to be honest, if that wasn't an A+, then I'd be very surprised because I got through very quickly. No real effort. So let's see how that went. Uh, hang on a minute, where did I even come? I can't remember where I came in. Oh, yes. Nope. Downstairs, Graham. And let's go down again. There we go. Right. So let's see if that's an A+. Because if that's not, I don't know what on earth is. This is going up here. This is nowhere near. So I've exceeded what the what they intended, but that's only a C. What on earth is an A plus on this game? New mask unlocked. We've got uh, Alex and Ash. Imagine this is going to take us into some sort of a, of a cutscene. So now November. Right, okay, so that feels like a good time with a nice uh, float shark in this guy's room. A nice place to leave part two. So. Thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed seeing what the, the next little bit of Hotline Miami 2 is like. My observations, it's now feeling a bit more like the old Hotline Miami games, so the more compact levels, easier um, access in terms of being able to coax the enemies around the corners and kill them from there. The other big thing I'm taking from it this early on is what on earth do you need to do to get an A+, because that last level in particular, I thought I got through that really quickly with no problems, um, and in the previous Plotline Army, that would have been an A+, guaranteed, so the fact that it wasn't, wow. I don't know what's going to be required, but at this point I'm not overly worrying about it. I will do a platinum run at some point, but this, is what this Let's Play and this first run is just about getting through and enjoying the game, so... If you want to see more, please do subscribe to us here on YouTube. Follow us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash teamclocked. As I mentioned at the start, everything that is on the YouTube channel in terms of gameplay primarily has been Twitch, um, streamed over on Twitch first, so please follow us there. You'll get alerts when we're going live. Follow us on Twitter. We're at teamclocked there as well. You'll find out a bit more about the games that we're going to be playing, some of our plans for streaming in the coming months. Uh, and as always, just find out a little bit more about us. There's six of us as part of the team, so finding out a bit more about who we are, the games we like to play, follow us on Twitter, you'll find that out there. If you want to follow me, I am at GrimmyD1 on Twitter. I'll be back with part three dead soon. In the meantime, have a good one, guys.